Hello everyone. I am Hanan Al Musa from Palestinian schools in Qatar. Today we are going to explain period one and two from unit eleven, a Palestinian wedding, page forty and forty one. Let's start. Now let's start with exercise number three. Listen and answer the questions. Number one. What does everyone agree to do in part one of the conversation? Number two, what is part two of the conversation about? And which picture shows this? Number three, who is the man on a horse in picture A? And what is happening? Number four, is the wedding a large one or a small one? How do we know? Period one, activity four. Period two, activity four. Mike and Tina are visiting the Carmels. One. Would you like another cake? Yes, please. I'd love another one. No thanks, Mrs. Carmel. I'm full. Who'd like to watch our cousin's wedding DVD? It's just arrived. I'd love to. Hmm. I prefer to play computer games. Come on, Mike. Say yes. Well, all right. Two. Is this the wedding party? No, it's Sahra. It's a party before the wedding day. The women are singing, and the men are dancing the traditional dabka. Everyone looks very happy. Three. What's happening now? We call this Zafa. That's our cousin on the horse. He's the groom. And he's riding round town to receive everyone's congratulations. The bride's following in a car. People are giving her their best wishes. She looks beautiful. Four. This is the wedding party. Look, the bride and groom are sitting in the centre. There are hundreds of guests. Yes, everyone goes to a Palestinian wedding. We love them. It's so sad we couldn't go to this one. Five, and that's the end. So, would you like to play computer games now, Mike? Thanks, but I prefer to watch the DVD again. It was fantastic. Now, after listening to the conversation, let's answer the questions in exercise three. Exercise three. Listen and answer the questions. Number one, what does everyone agree to do in part one of the conversation? They agreed to watch the wedding DVD. Number two, what is part two of the conversation about, and which picture shows this? It's about Sahra. Picture C. Number three, who is the man on a horse in picture A, and what is happening? It's Sam's cousin. It's a wedding party for Sam's cousin. Is the wedding a large one or a small one? How do we know? It's a large one because Tina says there are hundreds of guests. Now let's answer these questions about the conversation. Number one: Who are visiting the Camels? Mike and Tina are visiting the Camels. Number two. What have Mrs. Kamal, Mike, Tina, Nadia, and Sammy been doing at the beginning of the conversation? They have been eating cake. Number three. What does Nadia suggest to watch? Who agrees? Who doesn't agree? She suggests to watch her cousin's wedding DVD. Tina agrees to watch it, but Mike doesn't agree. Why doesn't Mike agree to watch the DVD? Because he wants to play computer games. What does Sahra mean? It's a party before the wedding day. What are the women and men doing in Sahra? The women are singing and the men are dancing the traditional dabka. Number seven. Where is the groom in Zaffa? Why? He is on the horse, riding round town to receive everyone's congratulations. Number eight. 
Where is the bride in Zaffa? She is following the groom in a car. Number nine. Where are the bride and the groom sitting in the wedding party? They are sitting in the center. Number ten. Does Mike want to play computer games at the end of the conversation? Why? No, he doesn't. Because he wants to watch the DVD again. Now let's do exercise number one. Read. Add new words from period one. Make any changes needed. In this exercise, you have incomplete sentences. You are going to complete them by using the words from activity number one in period one. I will give you some minutes to do this exercise. Now let's listen to the correct answers. Period two, activity two, and activity four. One. Would Adnan like the new Batman DVD for his birthday? He's already got it. So let's get a computer game. He loves playing them. Two. Guess what? I'm going to marry Rania. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll be very happy together. Three. Now I can see the groom. He's up high on his horse. But we can't see the bride yet. She's in a car behind him. Four. We've got a big room for the wedding, but it's completely full. Yes, we invited 200 guests, and they've all come. Five. Can we go now? No, we have to wait for the bride and groom to go first, and then we have to follow them. Oh, all right. I didn't know that. Please check your answers. Now exercise 3. Read again and answer the question. Number 1. At the start of the conversation, what has just been happening? They have just been eating the cake. Number 2. What is on the DVD that has just arrived? It's Nadia's cousin's wedding. Number 3. How do Tina and Mike feel about watching the DVD? Tina wants to watch it, but Mike doesn't want to watch it. Number four. What do people say to the groom and the bride during Zaffa? They congratulate them and give them their best wishes. Number five. How does Nadia feel about not going to her cousin's wedding? She feels sad. Number six, why do you think she and her family could not go to it? Because they are in the United States and the wedding is in Palestine. Number seven, at the end, does Mike want to play video games? No, he doesn't. He wants to watch the DVD again. Number eight, why does he want to do that? Because he thought it was fantastic. Thanks for listening. I hope you've understood the lesson.